Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And last night I drew this keepsake box, keepsake box, and took me probably a couple hours to draw it and and really think about you know your joints and the uh, inside parts are an eighth of an inch lower than the box, so this lid fits down in the box um, and doesn't let the lid come off. It's just, it doesn't have hinges. It just sets on top, but it doesn't move around. Anyway, the reason for the video, it would have taken a too long a video to, to draw it. But somebody asked today, and I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Somebody asked today, and so I sent a file and showed people what the, the back is. And because uh, when this joint and this joint joint, it's right here. And I've designed it that way because these two tabs equal these two tabs that go right here. So that way, there's no joints going around the edge. But anyway, this one is is almost five inches, 4.965, almost five inches. And somebody wanted it, asked me of how they could do one that would be six inches. So what you do, and there might be another way to do this is get your parallel dimension tool and just draw that. And then for this video, I'm going to make these numbers larger so you'll be able to see them. Let's make them 50 points. Anyway, so you've got 4.96 and you want it 6. And for the video, I might not make it exactly 6. But then you want to either grab any corner. You don't want to grab this node or this deal or this one because it won't make it symmetrical. But then, so we're close to the number here. So let's just, and we want to just drag away. And our number up there is going to change. So we're going to drag it some more. We're at 5.55. Now, when you get really close, Let me get pretty close. Then you can change your percentage and go 101%, but do them both. And now we're at six inches, so we're good. Now, but the only problem you've done, you've messed up your tabs. And the only way I really know how to do this they're pretty much going to be equal. And, and what's so nice about this in Corel Draw is you can take this one and go, well, let's see what the tab looks like. And they're going to be off because you're going to have the curve of your laser. But that's what you want right there. And then just kind of center it. And that's going to be the difference in the curve. All right. So let's just take that out of the way for a minute. So what we have to do is break everything apart. Go to range, ungroup. Now, we want to keep the size it is, but our thickness has changed for our wood. Our wood is 0.25 one, or 0.125 because it's eighth inch plywood, but I want it tight, so I'm going to go 0 0.12. Hit enter. And you're going to have to individually do these. 0.12, enter. Now, these, this one is going to be the same, 0.12. Now this one's a little bit different because the other number is at the top now, 0.12. And all this is doing is keeping in the exact same spot. And then you need to do these two. So break them apart. And I like doing this where everything's really tight, where you don't have to use uh, glue. Because uh, glue in these little tabs are a little difficult. So 0.12. Point one two, and if you'll notice, our tab is six point or point six oh four long. So all the tabs are going to be the same, you know, even though we're changing the thickness. So you need to do the same thing for here. But for the time of the video, I'm not going to do these other four tabs. Now this tab and this tab are going to be really tight, but they're going to fit. Now the only thing that really you need to check is do this. 
you need to take this little so if you look at my box I've got these in, interior parts of the drawer so this one's going to go right here and when you scaled it it didn't probably maybe scale perfectly you can see it's a little bit long let's go up top and then just go to your pick tool and just move it up and maybe even move it over so you can see the lines match and then you can see down here that we're a little bit short so then all you have to do is just take your this segment movement key and move it there then you've done that tab now this tab and this tab are the same so just delete that one, make you a copy of this, so control D, and then you need to do the same thing for this guy. He needs to fit between these two tabs because these two tabs are representing the, the, the plywood itself. You know, this is the thickness of the plywood. So your, your plywood, uh, eighth inch plywood is going to be, you know, right here. And this joint is just taking it down in there. So let's see how close we are on this one. And you know what I left? Let's back up. I left part of the, I broke it apart earlier. So now we need to group it back together. So lasso it all, arrange, group, and then you can move it around. Let's zoom in here. And if you want this file or, or the smaller file, they're on Epilogue's Facebook fan page. And we can do this right here. We can put, grab that node and put it right there. Now, as you can see, I'm a little bit short. I'm even on this end, but I'm not even on this end because it didn't scale perfectly so all you're going to do is just move this out so it's maybe a little bit more and sometimes you have to go past your item because it's real hard with your hand movement and close is good enough because this isn't you know we're not building a rocket ship part and actually now you could cut this piece out of a A nine inch piece of plywood nine by 24 piece of plywood anyway hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching now with that said these joints are going to be really really tight I've designed them that way and I actually have to tap them lightly with a hammer and, and like right on the edge as you're you know get on a good flat surface maybe even use a scrap piece of little plywood so you won't hurt your wood and tap that on the hammer Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.